Hey Polish peeps, welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel, welcome if you're new. Um, this is my winter rack video. I love doing these videos um, every season. Um, we really get excited about sharing polishes with you, about um, our inspiration for um, whatever season it is. This is winter, so definitely excited about Christmas and winter and it getting cold not so much but um, I do get inspired for winter polishes and so um, we are doing our winter polish rack and I typically um, now if you saw my Christmas rack video um, <clears throat> I don't, you've already heard this explanation but I typically do these four rows over here for my seasonal racks um but for winter we also did a christmas rack so this is my my christmas polishes down here and the first three rows are my winter polishes so i'm gonna try not to make this super long video um i always if you guys have been watching me for a while know i fail at that but we're gonna try to stay under 30 minutes i really try to just like not go into too much description about these polishes but Sometimes it's difficult <laughs> and I get interruptions, but my kids aren't here. There is a cat right now scratching my leg. We're just going to ignore her and start talking about the polishes. Um, so you guys, I really struggled. Like I, I don't know. I think like, I, I am in the Christmas spirit, I feel like, but I'm about to make a life changing move. We are moving. Um, so I'm kind of in the process of like putting things up and I had to take things out <laughs> for my rack. So I struggled with my choices this year um, and ultimately I may still change what I wear, but we're just gonna roll with it. This is an attempt, I think, by all of us that do this video to make some hard choices because a lot of us have large collections and it is difficult to decide what to wear um, during the seasons and so in order to make it easier for us to make these decisions of what we're going to wear in a day, we do our seasonal racks and it makes it a little bit easier. So, um, and then if we stay within that, then it helps us wear polishes so we don't have so many untried polishes. Y'all have hundreds of untried polishes, like it's ridiculous. So this really helps me out. Um, although it is still a difficult decision, I feel like it would be more difficult if I was not doing my seasonal racks and just had to pull from a collection of a thousand or more polishes to wear daily because I do change my polish every day um, so having said that that I change my polish every day I'm going to show you guys um, and if you I'm I'm filming this video right after my um, Christmas polish rack video so if you watch that that video you will already know what's on my nails so I got this polish at the polish expo in Nashville and it is fair made in polish but it does not have it came without a label. I don't know. I tried to find the name of it, so I don't know what the name of it is, but it is gorgeous. I love it so much. So it's like a purple base. It does have some um, micro glitters in there. Um, really pretty. Um, it has a, for lack of a better description, because I'm, I'm not exactly, it's shifting, I think, from gold to green. You can't really see the green shift, but you can see the gold there. But it is gorgeous on the nails. Really beautiful formula. Um, I didn't even have to do much cleanup on this one. Matter of fact, I didn't do any cleanup. Because I did... I do <laughs> paint my nails when I'm at work sometimes, if I have time. So I did this mani yesterday. Oh, look at that shimmer. At work. And I don't have stuff to clean up at work, so I just paint my nails just so I can have something on my nails. And this was my choice for yesterday. So really pretty. Really enjoying this one. I'm going to have to take it off today and I don't want to. <laughs> so there's that one. We're going to start, I think, at the bottom and work our way up. Um, I, I really do try to pick a variety of colors, but I do have colors that I just love and gravitate towards. And it's really hard to step outside of that. Um, and I tried not to put... Christmas polishes in with my winter rag polishes because um, I wanted to reserve those for around Christmas time. So that's my rationalization for my picks. <laughs> but you know, stuff comes up and then I'm like, oh, I wish I had put that one on my winter rack. I'll, you know, 
find something later and I'll be like, oh, I should have put that on my window rack. And then I'll just add it. So, but since I'm beginning, since I'm getting ready to move, I did try to not overdo these polishes because I know I'm not going to have time to wear all of them. It's, that's just the reality. But I did want to give myself something to choose from when I do have time to wear polish. So this is a Moon Spice from, it's another Fair Maiden polish. And of course I was in a section in my drawer of Fair Maiden polishes and thought this would be perfect for winter. Um, it's a really gorgeous blurple with some shifty flakies. Um, I wanted to put a pink in my collection, but I didn't want to do like a bright pink or um, because for my Festivus rack, I already have like a glitter pink. I wanted to do um, like a more warmer, I guess, darker pink. And so I found this one. This is KL Polish Jane and it has ugly bottle syndrome, but it's like a really pretty, um, I don't know, what would you call this color? Mauve? Is it mauve? I don't know. It's not really mauve. Uh, it's pink. <laughs> I don't know what you call this color, but um, it's it's close enough to a pink to be my pink category. So that's Jane from KL Polish. I'm really sad that this brand does not make polishes anymore, but before they went out of business, I did pick up like five or six of them because I didn't have any in my collection and I wanted to have some before they went out of business. But these are typically really good formulas. Um, and the ones I have, I think I have all creams. So, um, maybe I'll get around to wearing more of those. I think I've worn two of them. Eventually I will. Dream Impossible Dreams. I do also love um, shimmer and sparkle and all of that. During the winter time, this is nothing but glitter. Pretty sure it's definitely going to be too dense to um, use as a topper. Um, but it's going to be really beautiful on the nails. Um, it's just a bunch of holographic glitter. It does have like a light pink base, I think, but you're not going to see that base <laughs> at all because it's just all glitter and um, it's definitely a thinner formula, which is another reason that I know you're just going to see nothing but glitter on the nails. But oh my gosh, that holographic, whew, so pretty. Um, I also pulled this one. I have worn this one before, but I want to say I wore it when I was not good at, um, magnetic polishes and like knowing how to get that magnetic line to stay. So I wanted to try it again because I think it'll be perfect for winter. Um, this is paint it pretty polish and it is called, if you don't, invest in, if I don't invest in myself no one ever will um I'm not even sure I think it's a blue base I guess I'm not sure how to describe the base it's blue I think and then what you're seeing is the magnetic pigment oh, look how pretty this is magnetized like oh my gosh y'all that is so pretty so when I pulled it and I was like I've worn this before but then I stuck the magnet up to it I was like oh I gotta try to wear that again. So pretty. So that's painted pretty polish. Um, if I don't invest in myself, no one ever will. Um, I also pulled this one, which I don't think I've worn before, but I got this one on sale, obviously, with the big sale sticker on it. This is um, Black Cherry Chutney from OPI. It's like a dark, vampy purple. Um, I think I put this on my rack at another time, maybe for fall and didn't wear it. So I pulled it again. I want to wear it for winter. It's really pretty. I really like this purple, um, shade and I think it's going to look gorgeous on my nails with my skin tone. I pulled one from Katie Shimmer. This is Sip Back and Relax. I remember this collection. I bought quite a few from this collection. Um, it's been sitting in my drawer, so I want to shake it up so you guys can see the color. Um, but it is whew, another one with holographic in it. It has holographic shimmer. I'm not sure how to describe this base. It's kind of a, like a go between a red and a brown, maybe. That's how I would describe it with 
holographic. Oh my gosh. That holographic swimmer is insane. Insane. Like, typically you can't see holographic on the camera. So you know if you can see it on the camera, then it's like legit, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Definitely going to be really pretty. So I'm excited about wearing that one. I pulled a rogue lacquer. This is from the Ashes We Rise from December 2020 PPU. I don't know why, but for some reason I feel like I had or have a backup of this one. Like I bought it twice for some reason. I could be wrong. I don't know. But it is blue flaky goodness. Really pretty. Um, let's see. I don't think I've worn this one. So maybe I don't have. Maybe I'm thinking about another one I have a backup of. But oh my gosh, y'all. That is. It gives me like. I don't know what kind of vibes <laughs> happy vibes it's gorgeous um so i'm excited about that one from the ashes we rise the rogue polish i have and have one from wildflower lacquer this is jeweled tinsel from the tangled tinsel collection this came out last year y'all my time is off it feels like it came out recently but i think it was literally last year could be wrong and y'all could correct me on that but I want to say this came out last Christmas this collection did and I bought a few from this collection it feels like it's so much closer than that <laughs> anyway this is a is this a clear base I think it's no it's not clear or maybe it is I don't know I can't really tell it kind of looks like a clear base but then in some angles it looks like it has a tint but um really what you're seeing Color-wise, is the gorgeous shimmer. It's like silver, shifty, um, shifting from pink to gold to green. So that's going to be really pretty on the nails. Um, I pulled one from Ethereal Lacquer. This is Blue Raspberry. Um, I have no explanation for why I pulled this one. It's just pretty. <laughs> I was like, oh, that'll be really pretty. Um, I do... Love doing stamping during Christmas. I have some new stamping plates that I want to try. Um, I think Christmas stamping is just so fun. Like there's so much you can do with Christmas stamping. You can do trees, you can do gingerbread men, you can do, you know, snow scenes. Like there's so much you can do stamping wise at this time of year. So I really do enjoy stamping at this time of year. So this one's definitely gonna be one that I stamp on. Look at that shimmer, so pretty. Okay, next row, I have one from Glam Polish. This is Clairvoyant. I did try to pull a diff, a couple of Glam Polishes. I also have one on my Festivus rack, my Christmas rack. Um, <laughs> and um, I really do enjoy this brand, so I wanted to add a couple from my Glam Polish collection because I don't wear them enough. They don't get enough love. Um, this is glitter, like a lot of glitter, but it has like a light pinky purple base. Um, with a lot of like holographic glitters and it uh, I want to say um, you do see a little bit of that pinky purple base so it's not all glitters that you're seeing but there's it's a lot of glitter definitely gonna wear be wearing a pillow off base coat with this one because it's gonna be difficult to remove but it's also gonna be really pretty with some stamping on top so it's glam polish I pulled another one from ethereal lacquer this is mamba and it is a gorgeous um multi-chrome it's like reddish brown i guess i don't know i always get confused with multi-chromes because they're so shifty i'm like so what is the base on this like what's the base color because all i see is shift <laughs> but i feel like for this one it's like a reddish brown um which i think will be really pretty during winter time and I mean, my winter rack, I feel like it's just not a winter rack without a multi-chrome added to it. So I thought this one would be pretty for winter. Now, this is one that I had on my fall rack and I didn't get to. And I was like, I really want to wear it. <laughs> um, there are some other ones that I didn't get to on my fall rack that I was like, yeah, no, this is not going to work for winter. And typically, fall and winter polishes, you can pretty much wear them for either season but um this is one that I just couldn't pull off because I was like 
I want to wear it. So it's another magnetic. This is Astro World from Illyrian. Um, and I want to show you guys the magnetic. See, like what? Yeah, and the magnetic is so strong on this one. This is literally sticking to the bottle. So I know the pull is going to be insane. And um, really pretty. So, um, I mean, I feel like that's enough of an explanation as to why I left it on my winter rack. <laughs> it's like, I've got to wear this. Like, I've got to. Um, so that's Illyrian Astroworld. Oh, that's pretty. Flaky goodness. And of course it's purple, which is my jam. I think I left this one also from my fall rack. This is Petra. I needed some creams. Like, I feel like, you know, <clears throat> sometimes I put so many glitter or flaky polishes on my racks. And then when I want to do something simple or when I want to do some nail art that, you know, I don't want to have, um, like glitters or flakies in, um, I don't have anything on my rack to do that with. <laughs> so I wanted to add some creams, um, just so that I would have that element in my rack and some variety and things to work with. So this is one that I kept from my fall rack for that reason. This is Petra. And it's a gorgeous, like, deep lavender, I guess I would say, purple. This is another one I kept from my fall rack. This is one that does not have a name because I made it at the Polish Expo in Vegas um, last year. So it's a multi-chrome. And I made it, so I want to wear it. <laughs> I have not worn this yet. Um, and I think this has a purple base. It's either purple or red. I think it's red. I think it has a red base. Um, but I'm excited about this, like, because I, I, I don't feel like I have polish making skills, so we're going to see how that looks as a full mani. This is another one from my fall rack that I kept. This is Nobility from Quixotic Polish. And you guys, I don't know, I guess I'm feeling these magnetic polishes. It's another magnetic. Um, this one is actually not as strong of a magnet. Um, as the other one so if I have a choice I will definitely be wearing the other one before I wear this one but it's gorgeous right it's really pretty it's like blue and purple shifting um it's like a multi-chrome magnetic if I had to make give an explanation I guess that's how I would describe it um yeah so definitely I think I will be wearing the other one over this one but we'll see if this one gets worn for winter um, this one, Cherry Smasher from Wildflower Lacquer. I've worn this one before. I wanted to wear it again for winter, um, just because I needed some red polishes on my <laughs> winter rack and had this on my fall rack. I didn't get around to it. It's gorgeous on the nails. Um, I don't wear polishes twice that often. So the fact that I want to wear this one again says something about this polish. Um, it's just... It's, it's just really pretty. <laughs> Wildflower Lacquer, Cherry Smasher. I think I have a backup of this one. If I don't, I wish I did. <laughs> um, and of course, Linkin Park After Dark. This is a classic that I have not worn, I don't think. Or maybe I wore it as an accent nail or something. I don't know. Anyway, it's deep, deep, deep purple. Like, almost black on the nails. Um, and... Everyone talks about this polish. I hunted it down because I have not been wearing polish as long as some people. And so everyone was like, oh, Lincoln Park after dark, after dark. And I was like, okay, I've got to hunt this polish down. So I went to this old like, um, store, um, that has OPIs, like old OPIs. And I found this one. Have not worn it. And that was years ago when I found this. <laughs> so I had it on my fall rack. I was like... Let me try to wear it for winter. Um, Eel with it from Wildflower Lacquer. This was, again, on my fall rack. Um, but I needed some green. And I was like, this is a really pretty green. And I want to wear it. So we're going to keep it on um, my winter rack, rack so I can hopefully wear it. And, and then, you know, like, I can also, if I get through all of my... Christmas polishes and I still need a polish to wear before Christmas it's green so I can fit it in there 
or maybe I could just wear this as the beginning of like my winter polish um my winter polish rack wearing <laughs> Um, this is X Machina from Cert Colors, and it is another multi-chrome, but it's closer to purple, I feel like. Um, again, I never know what the base is, but I feel like this is purple or blue, one or the other. Um, I have been wanting to wear this for a minute, so we're going to get it on the nails for winter. Cert Colors. Okay, look. I got 10 minutes to get through my last row. This is Chihuly Art. Um, this was from, um, this was actually a polish that I swatched for the Vegas Expo. Um, and I just watched it. So I was like, oh my gosh, that's so pretty. I started to put it on my Festivus rack, but then I thought, mm, I don't know. I mean, I could pass this off as a Christmas polish, but really I just wanted to wear it. So I was like, I'm just going to put it on my winter rack. Um, because I only swatched it, didn't wear it as full mani, and I was like, that's pretty, right? Look at all the beautiful, like, assortment of glitters. Like, this combination of glitters to me is gorgeous. So, I'll try to get to that one. It's row blacker. Okay, my top row, I usually try to put some toppers up here, but I didn't have that many toppers I wanted to wear, so there's more polish up there. <laughs> As a topper, I did pick this one. This is Self Reflection. It's a reflective glitter topper from Fair Maiden. Um, I also got this one at the Polish Expo. And I have not used a reflective glitter topper on anything. So I think I may have one other reflective glitter topper. Maybe. Maybe not. But <clears throat> I really wanted to try this on top of something on my winter rack because I thought it would be beautiful for winter. So. Fair Maiden Polish. I pulled one from Kathleen and Co because I needed some more red. Like I needed, I felt like I needed more red. <laughs> so this is Eye of Sauron from the Mythical series. I'm guessing that it's like, um, oh my God. What is that movie series, y'all? I'm having a senior moment. Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings inspired polish. <laughs> Oh my god, like I love Lord of the Rings. How did I forget that? Um, and it is reflective. So it's a deeper, darker, like, mm, like um, uh, reddish brown. Um, like definitely has some brown in it, which deepens up the red. But it's still in the red category, but definitely more my type of red. Um, and not reflective. Oh my gosh. It's, that's stunning, right? That reflective is so pretty. So I think I may have swatched this one. So I want to wear it as full mini. I started putting stickers on my bottles to let me know if I have worn it or swatched it or whatever. Um, but I guess I started putting stickers on them after I swatched this one. So this one doesn't have a sticker, so I don't know. But I think I swatched it, haven't worn it as a full mini. So we're going to get that one on the nails. I also really love for winter white polishes, which if you guys have been watching me for a while, you guys know I don't like stark white polishes. It has to have something else. Um, so I have actually purchased, I guess, over maybe the last year or so, a lot of white polishes with um, shimmer because I really like that formula. So this is Reverie from Wildflower Lacquer and it's white but it has a gorgeous shimmer that is not coming across accurately on camera but I think this will be really pretty with some stamping on top um, and it has this gorgeous shimmer so I'm like not gonna want to stamp on it. I mean the shimmer is green to gold to pink. Um, not necessarily in that order. You can see the pink. I'm seeing green and gold. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think this is going to be gorgeous with the, some nail art. And I'm going to be like, mm, don't want to stamp on it. Maybe I'll just do two fingers. That way I can appreciate the shimmer in that white polish. Um, I'm going to check the time, you guys. Ooh, I got to gotta go to work. This is Happy Hour from the Polish and Dreams Vegas. Um... I think this came in the VIP bag. Yeah, it did. Um, from Girly Bits. And it is, it's a gray base, right? With some beautiful blue glitters. I don't actually know 
what pulled me to this one. Ooh, it has some holographic shift there. That's really pretty. Maybe that's why. But I don't know. I just felt like I wanted to wear this. So I'm going to wear this for winter. Happy Hour from Girly Bits. I pulled another red because around Christmas and winter time, I feel like people typically will wear the iconic China Glaze Ruby pumps, right? Um, and I do have Ruby pumps, but I don't like wearing it because it's so pretty. <laughs> so I pulled another one that I found recently at just randomly at a store in Dallas. Um, that reminded me of ruby pumps and I was like, oh, that looks like ruby pumps. I can use it when I don't want to wear ruby pumps, but I want a red ruby pump like polish. Um, so this is Sparkle On and it looks like ruby pumps, right? Like it's reminiscent of it for sure. It's definitely the same color red, um, but it has something else. <laughs> Um, and I wish I, I didn't pull Ruby Pumps out so that we could make a comparison, but it, I, it is definitely Ruby Pump reminiscent. Um, so yeah, I think this will be really pretty. I also started to put this on my Christmas rack, but I had other reds on my Christmas rack. So I was like, I'm just going to put this in winter. Um, because I don't have a like cherry red like this in my winter rack. And I was like, I want to wear it. So, um, that is China Glaze Sparkle On. I pulled a couple from Bluebird Lacquer. Um, this is Birdie. Oh my gosh, y'all. I cannot see. Birdie. Birdie Got Back <laughs> from June 2021. <laughs> Hella Handmade Creations. It's so funny that I have to take my glasses off to see y'all. Oh my gosh, old, getting old is not cool. It's not, it's not something that I aspire to do. <laughs> I'm in my forties. So, you know, like this is the progression of life, but it's not, I don't like it. <laughs> but this is a gorgeous purple flaky polish and I have not worn it. It's untried and it was calling to me. So I'm going to wear it for winter really pretty oh my gosh those flakes are gorgeous and bluebird lacquer is another brand that i just adore i adore lucy she's so sweet um and i've swatched for her before so definitely want to get this on the nails so when i was pulling that one i also caught this caught my eye double down i think and it's bl it's blurple the formula is blurple um, or the color is blurple, but it's also got glitter and flakies. Um, gosh, really, really pretty. It's more, it's more beautiful in person. I can't even describe it to you. Um, but if you guys know me, you guys know I'm drawn to, it's more purple actually also. It's coming across blue, but it's definitely got purple flakies and glitter going on that are just going to be so gorgeous on the nails. So that's double down. Blue Lacquer. Here's another one that I pulled for my fall rack and didn't wear. Um, I want to see if I can use this one as a topper. This is Aesthetic Prismatic. I've had this one for quite a while and have not gotten it on the nails. Um, it's, is this a clear base? I don't know. I think it's a clear base and then what you're seeing is like glitter like different size glitters as the base which just has it coming across i mean it is green but um the base is not like just plain green so i'm going to try to use this as a topper if i can't use it as a topper i'll wear it as full mani because it's really pretty um, another topper that i had on my fall rack and didn't get to the right key um from bees knees lacquer um, and I'm not even sure if you guys are going to be able to see these, oh, they're like iridescent glitters. Oh my gosh. So pretty. I don't, I don't know if I can get you this pink and purple. You can see a little bit. Um, they're just, they shift. So it's like purple, green, blue. I think there's even some pink in there. Oh my gosh. Really pretty. So I think this will be a gorgeous topper if I can get around to it. 
I mean, it made it through my fall rack and didn't get worn. So we gotta get this on the nails. And I pulled another topper just because I wanted like another topper. <laughs> and this one was cute. I have a lot of untried toppers too, ridiculous. Um, this one is called Rain. R-E-I-G-N, not Rain, but Rain, like <laughs> King Queen Rain. Um, R-E-I-G-N. And it is a gorgeous red glitter topper with some silver glitters in there as well. I think that's going to be pretty on top of something. I don't know. I don't know what, because I'm looking at everything I have on here and I'm like, what are you going to wear that on? I don't know. Anyway, we are at 30 minutes. I made it, right? And that is everything on my winter rack. You guys definitely need to check out all of the people participating in this collab. Like, I'm going to list them all down below. Do your playlist. Just, you know, take some time, sit down and watch all of them or whatever. However you like to do that. We really love doing these collabs for you guys. It's super fun for all of us. Um, I hope you guys are not stressed out by the holiday season and are just enjoying um, planning and preparing for everything. Um, definitely just enjoy your families. Don't stress out. Don't let it stress you out. Like, it's going to be what it is. Um, you know, remember the reason for the season and just enjoy being with people in your life that you love. That's what I'm going to do. Um, so I hope everyone's having a fantastic, fabulous day. If you're joining me for the first time, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you join me. We do all kinds of nail polish related content on this channel. I also do throw in some prizes from time to time. So look for those as well. Give it a thumbs up so I know I'm doing a good job. Hit that notification bell so you guys know when I'm posting videos. Um, cause yeah. Y'all, you girls moving, it's going to be sporadic, but I will get in when I get in. Um, thank you guys for supporting my channel and watching me and just, you guys have the like greatest comments to my videos. I really do appreciate all of you and love you guys so, so much. I will see you in the next video. Bye.